So I'm getting my pupils dilated with eye drops. Okay, my first question is, am I gonna have blurry vision after this? Yes, absolutely. So your near vision, um, so anywhere, depending on the individual, how your body digests the drop. Okay. Um, basically anywhere from two to five hours, your near vision will be slightly blurry. Oh my gosh, but will I be able to drive home? Oh yeah, totally. Your oh. distance, everything get, doesn't get affected, but you will become more light sensitive because of the openness of your iris. Oh. But we have super fancy sunglasses. For okay, you. here we go. <laughs> Okay. So the first drop, just look towards the wall for me. Which wall? Up? Um, it doesn't matter what any wall. And there's the first drop. Oh. <laughs> and then we'll do the secondary one as well. I'm sorry, I'm so dramatic. That's no. why I was like, I'm literally. Oh. It's totally fine. Go open Ooh. your eyes the best that you can. I can't wait for them to give me like Valium. Like I need to be sedated <laughs> for this process. Sorry. No worries. Don't worry about it. Throw your chin up a little bit more so it's a little bit flat for me. I can't open it. No, it's, it's totally fine. So what I did, I put it in the tear duct and just blink a few times and it'll slowly work its way into it. Oh, you smart. <laughs> oh my God. I've been doing this for quite some time. Yeah, no, I'm time. sure. <laughs> um, you can use this Kleenex if you want to wipe and everything. Uh, um, and then in about whew. probably 10 to 20 seconds, you're kind of feeling like this allergy kind of gunky sensation. Okay. Um, that means it's starting to numb everything. And then I'll put the secondary drop in, which is the trick I can make. Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm totally. total baby. No, don't even worry about it. Okay, second set of drops is in. It was less screaming this time. <laughs> These are to map out, okay, let's see recall refraction and the surface structure of my cornea. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Boom. I am a scientist. Um, it feels completely fine. It's literally like putting an eye drop to yourself. It's just I have a huge problem with anything coming close to my eye, but we're fine, we're alive. And my vision's gonna get blurry, and then they're gonna map everything. I may have cried. Some of those might be prescription teardrops, but some of those might just be me, to be honest. Okay, y'all, we are getting la sick. So today is just a kind of pre-appointment, pre-surgery appointment um, in the office. Those are my glasses. I've been wearing glasses since the third grade. So it is high time and high water for me to get those replaced. Got a bunch of machines here. Amy. And right now I'm just sitting with the eye drops in my eyes. We're gonna do a bunch of studies on my eyes today and basically just see what the current prescription status of my eyes is. We are five days before the surgery. And the thing that I'm most nervous about, honestly, is just the actual like laser portion. Um, the surgeon sent me a packet at home that assured me that each eye is gonna be happening in under five minutes. And the actual laser portion is only a couple seconds to 60 seconds maximum in terms of laser exposure to your eye. And you don't feel a thing because the drops are numbing. They don't even need to inject anything into your eyes. Just, just the drops, just these, these drops right over here. This is my cornea. So that's my corneal imaging right there. Right up there, you can, right there, right there. You can see how she's looking. She's looking thick. They're gonna cut a flap right up there. Open it up, the laser's gonna go And then they put the flap right back. It takes two to five days to completely re-adhere. Yay. Things should be kind of blurry right now. Um, so yeah, it's generally, it's all right. It's a little blurry. Yeah. So let's take a look and see um, what your prescription is now. Now that you're Here dialing, we go. Um, I'm going to relax your eyes and then we'll get everything dialed in. So this is exciting. How's everything going with the, with, with the, you're doing the film, right? I have, I've been doing film, TV, acting. Yeah. I released my first web series. Awesome. So I went to Utah. We shot episodes one through five. Oh, and cool. I'm, I'm dropping the last one tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Yep. And then more video games, more oh, recordings. Nice. I love it. Yeah, it's been a really fun time. And now, when, because of this, I was like, wait, wait, wait. People would probably be interested in, like, LASIK. Like, LASIK, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and pull your mask down to open your nose. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'll work on the right eye. Let's make it as clear as possible, okay? All right. Let's go. Clear. Go ahead and read for me that line there. F, Z, B, D, four. Go ahead and sit back. So this is really good. I'm happy. <gasps> Yay. Um, we checked your corneal thickness, and Dr. Mandel went over all this with you, right? Yeah. Um, well, numbers-wise, no, but just generally, we looked at my cornea. It does look thick. 
Yeah, it looks thick enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're like, you're like, it looks thick enough. It looks as thick as the accordion. <laughs> like, it looks thick as the accordion to me. Yeah. So you're doing well. Um, so nothing has changed since nothing last visit? Nothing has changed visit. since last visit. What is the scary it's thing? Do. It's going to check to see how dry your eyes are. Okay. So I want you to look up with your eyes only, not to worry. Go ahead and look all the way up. Not to worry. Think a few times. See, Good. if the surgery was like that, we would have no problem. <laughs> Excellent news. Family doc said that my eyes look perfect he said the frontal he called it frontal i was like girl doctor frontal to you frontal to me is different but he said the frontal was looking good surface of both my eyes looking going it's perfect he said he used the word perfect i feel like i got an a plus in school so now i am dilated it's gonna be like this for the next four to five hours we're pre-op they're sending all my information over to the surgeon the next thing to do is literally just surgery so i'm gonna make sure that i pick up the video from surgery day i'm gonna be headed over there gonna be a quick procedure and hoping everything goes all right then i have to follow up with my optometrist one day one week and one month after the surgery i got a bag Okay, for this next part, I'm using what has been prescribed to me by my doctor. So please don't tell your doctor, like, oh, Julie told me to take it. No, she didn't. She's not medical. Um, I was prescribed this Avanova antimicrobial lid and lash solution. It's a spray and you wipe it away with like a cotton round. I was also prescribed, let's read it carefully, polymyxin E sulfate, 10,000 unit trime thorprin. <laughs> Um, and the reading on the bottle is pretty similar. Polymixin B sulfate and trimethorprim ophthalmic solution, not a doctor. Uh, so what I like to do here is start with the Avanova lid spray. You just close your eyes, spray it two to three times on your lid and lashes. Then just wipe that away. And what it's doing is removing the organisms and debris on your lids and lashes prior to surgery. Same thing on the other side. Just carefully working that through the top and bottom lash set and across from my lid. No more microorganisms. Who? <laughs> so now lid and lash spray done. And then eye drops. I am a huge scary cat when it comes to eye drops. But, oh, one healthy drop in each eye. <laughs> Literally, I, I just, I freak out every single time. Here we go. All right, not too bad. And then I just let those marinate. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm prescribed to take. So the Avanova Lash Spray, I do two times a day, sometimes three, because I was a little bit late to start them. Um, and then the polymixin B sulfate, I've been instructed to do it four times a day. Yeah, three days before the surgery, two days after, one drop in both eyes, four times a day. So I've been applying those to get my eyes juicy and conditioned and ready for surgery. Tomorrow, my surgery is tomorrow morning. How do I feel? <laughs> I feel like it's a like it's a type of life change I'm not quite ready for. But then after I start, like I think I'm gonna have a first day of like I can show you the world. Like I'm gonna be freaked out. But after that first day, second day, week goes by. I'm traveling. I'm doing other stuff. I think I'm gonna forget that I even had eye surgery. That's what I hope. Um, however, there are antibiotics that I was prescribed to take after the surgery, as well as like keeping my lids and lashes clean. So. I will be thinking about it for the next couple of weeks and hopefully seeing in 2020. So I will hit y'all tomorrow when I head into my surgery and meet with my optometrist um, for all my post-op meetings. All right, y'all, good morning. It's the morning of the surgery. I am in Castro Valley. I picked up some sunglasses and some preservative tears, artificial, artificial non-preservative tears. We are at the surgery center. Ah. So I was dropped off here because you are not allowed to drive yourself to the surgery. Um, and then my family member is going to be picking me up. Shout out to my family. But this is the building. Uh, I got my bag here. 
from Nigerian fam. I got my surgery packet, some water, those non-preservative tears. Bought them this morning. Got my Avanova Lid and Lash Solution, you feel me? And the antibiotic medication this week. Okay, okay, so we're in the lobby and I'm gonna go upstairs to check in. All right, mood today is ready, nervous, a little scared, not of the actual surgery, but of the recovery process. I heard it's going to be intense. Okay, y'all, I went upstairs into the exam room to check on my eyes. Morning of the surgery, I was super nervous and emotional. Um, I sat in the waiting room, processed my payments, basic privacy statements, information disclaimers. You sign away to so many risks and it's enough to freak you out, but it's no big deal. They got me prepped. I took some Valium as prescribed by the doctors, five milligrams, and then I waited for my turn for surgery. Unfortunately, when I went into the OR, I cried. So I had to go into another room <laughs> and calm down. I was dancing to Lil Baby, Drake, Ellie Goulding, just like familiar music because my first time laying on the OR table, I literally freaked out and they cannot do the surgery if you are crying so i grabbed my squeegee ball i was prescribed another five milligrams of valium to take and that made me feel better hey everybody my uncle came to pick me up hi <laughs> okay so you can close it we made it we did it we are post lasik surgery finally got my eyes closed um we are two volumes deep so here is the procedure so i went and signed my forms um i was so nervous but i was like no nah, i'm chill i'm chill i'm chill did my songs my meditation whatever i popped a volume that they offered me of like five milligrams that's just what was prescribed to me at the doctor they provided it then chilled out for 15 minutes they said okay joy they start dropping all types of drops on you antibiotic drops numbing drops all types of drops but during these drops, I was already very tense, right? So as this is happening, I'm getting like anxious. And then by the time I got into the room, I was like, ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. And they lay me down flat and I just start crying. Like, <laughs> you, need to, you need to be completely still for the surgery to work. So I met the doctor, met the nurses, met the other doctors, but I was just crying, so. They just raised me up from the table. They were like, okay, do you need to take a minute? I was like, yeah, I need a minute. And then um, I basically needed more Valium, uncle. So that's why I texted you to kind of get me a little bit later. I failed my first uh, lie down because I was anxious, but they were, they were so nice to me. They're like, it's okay. They were like rubbing my shoulder. They were like, as much as you can do to cry, but not like cry, cry too much. Um, because your eyes can get dry. So they just had a little office room they put me in. I I tried to go the meditative route and then just wake up off the Valium and get the surgery, but that did not work. I have a phobia of sticking things in my eye. So I was fine until the doctor put that eye clamp and the pressure circle on my eye. That's when I started crying. I was like, oh, I can't do this. So he's like, okay. So they moved me out the room, go into this private little room. I'm dancing, I'm listening to a little Rihanna, a little Drake, a little Davido, you know what I'm saying? Just get through my day. Um, just needed to press on. And then after that process, I was a bit more calm. So with more Valium in me, they now take me to the operating room again. This time I decided to have a mentality of like, let's just attack it, let's go, let's go get it, let's get more aggressive. Because the first approach that I had was like, oh, let's be meditative and gentle and just ease into it. Well, that didn't work. So now coming at it like it's game day, oh, let's go, go Trojans. Like I try to just like amp myself up, like let's go, yup, you're like, just get a bit more amped. And that actually helped me because I felt braver. So then when I laid on the table, my like, boom, done this before, he'd be like, all right, now we're putting the clamp. I'm like, yup, I'm somebody, I really need the doctor to like talk me through stuff. So they put this plastic eye clamp on after like 80 gazillion different drops drops is nothing your eyes are numb now because of the drops they put on the plastic clamp then they put on almost like a goggles like a suction tube onto your eye you feel a little pressure but honestly it's not pain it's not painful so they put that on i was like boom okay i'm in this thing now and then they press this machine kind of onto your eye and you're just told to look ahead you have to keep both eyes open 
and all you really see is stars like literally like you just see stars like black and white type of stars because it's pushed so much on your eye but that was actually pretty calming just focus on the stars and as that was happening your corneal flap is being opened so that was really nice um the next eye yeah you feel a little bit more pressure but it's honestly not too crazy because i'm like i'm already here on the table like i'm winning <laughs> so after i got out of that one they now lifted me up carefully as they're doing each eye it goes like literally like when they say it's like vaseline smeared on your eye like you literally feel like you have petroleum jelly like across your vision it just becomes blurry then they move you to a second table and that's where uh the corrections are done and i think the thing is re-adhered so um my cornea flap you know is now kind of like cut and they're gonna move it and they start to think you know do the thing here's the crazy part he does use a scalpel it may not be a scalpel a sorry tool to shift things around and as he's shifting you're just focusing i was focusing on a green laser so you see like splotches of red it's like a mosaic you see red and then you see the green he's like just focus on the green the green keeps moving his scalpel keeps moving across your eye at times he feels like he's bob ross in it like painting it with the paintbrush but it's not painful whatsoever like you're so numb the volumes in you your eyes are so chill that it was almost relaxing he's just like painting across the surface of my eye and getting the corneas and stuff in place while i'm looking at this green light that's consistently shifting then he did it for the other eye the green light's shifting i'm focusing on it there's splotches of red around but it's almost like watching fireworks like that part was easy and it really wasn't any pain of course i was nervous as a scalpel but with the volume in my system i was a lot more calm and then that's it they tell you get up you open your eyes and you can't open your eyes right after the surgery all you see is kind of like you know like blurry vision they moved me to a second room to do a checkup to see if my corneas had any holes like little tiny aberrations or folds but they said mine looks good now comes the difficult part so thank you to my uncle for picking me up uh my eyes have to be closed the rest of the day so i've started now um and the rest of the process is going to be that i cannot rub my eyes i don't do any eye drops today i just chill eat sleep um keep these eye shields as you can see them on my eyes with some state-of-the-art sunglasses that they offered me i hope they look cute um i already bought sunglasses this morning like like i said so i'm gonna go return those because these are probably better and just stay in the dark stay light keep it down close my eyes all day and all night listen to podcasts eat some food um then tomorrow i'm gonna begin this like prendicillone i'm probably mispronouncing it but i'm gonna begin that begin eye drops begin uh, artificial tears and they left me with this whole like little blue packet full of stuff and instructions that i'm supposed to take um you're not supposed to get any perspirant in your eye no eye makeup they recommend for like a month um no shower water in your eye so there's just going to be a couple lifestyle changes yes i'm gonna still shower because i'm not crazy um or from the mountains of the caucus and i'll just continue to like you know take it easy make sure there's nothing around my eyes um but yeah i i can i can see but like it's more so just blurry right now so i'm really really excited for hopefully waking up tomorrow with much clearer vision it might continue to be blurry like this for a while they said you definitely might see stars and halos but it's not as bad as it was in the 90s because the quality of the wave front all laser lasik is improving so that's it uh we're gonna relax get into bed listen to some podcast sleep and i'll probably let you know how it's doing tomorrow i'm expecting a little burning a little tearing a little grit sensation i don't know how that's gonna go um but i feel blessed and i feel happy yay i made it hi everybody um i am home i am resting my family members are helping me heal from surgery which is really really awesome glad that they pulled through okay so let's talk about the process so um i got back from the surgery center and was chilling i want to say around 12 30 in the afternoon the best recommendation for them they said just lay down and sleep so that's what i did so as soon as surgery was over, uh, the quality of my vision was super blurry. Like I mentioned, it's like a blurry, filmy, almost like brown tinted, just type of muck. Like 
if you've never experienced something like that before, it might be kind of nerve wracking, but thankfully or oddly, I already have experienced like waking up with blurry vision just due to like, you know, headaches and stuff. So um, I wasn't too scared or too, it wasn't too unusual for me. After um, the surgery, they kind of gently close your eyes and they put on these shields. So you can zoom in on the shields if you like, but my eyes are closed and you can see the tape. They just give you this like facial tape. You want to sleep with these for at least like 10 days from the weekend of your surgery. So I'm going to be wearing these for like 10 nights, like a weekend from Saturday. They also gave me these state-of-the-art sunglasses. Okay, Bond, Joy Bond. So I have these on to shelter me from light and stuff like that. When I got home from the surgery, again, eyes closed. They said, yes, you can open your eyes to pee, to eat. But I'm like, no, I don't need to do that. So my fam has been helping me and I've just been eating. I had a little chicken katsu, you feel me, with veggies and rice. Um, just a good comfort meal. Um, there's no more eye drops during this actual day. So that's been pretty good. Just have it closed, drink my water. Then the first thing I did when I came home was just, you know, in my comfy clothes, go lie down. So I just knocked out, got my pillows and sheets, nice and comfortable, head on the pillow, listen to a little bit of, you know, I'm saying a little Will Smith <laughs> audio book on Chirp. And I just knocked out, um, not because Will's boring, but just because I needed like a soothing voice. I'll go back and listen to that chapter later. <laughs> so I slept, I really slept from about 12.30 to 12.30 or one o'clock to 6.30, just straight. And that could have been off the Valium, the adrenaline crash from surgery, anything. But I was out. How do I feel now? I woke up, my eyes underneath feel like a little bit gritty. I did partially open them when I ate. Um, but you don't want to do that too much because you could create folds or like, you know, tiny little perforations in your eyes. So um, I partially opened them while I was eating um, for about two seconds and the quality is still pretty like grainy brown. <laughs> it's still great. Um, and now I'm just trying to take it easy. I'm gonna go lay down again maybe for an hour before we watch Gabby and Rachel on The Bachelorette. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so I feel a little bit gritty in the back. They feel slightly like watery, a little bit like dry, but that's just how it's going to be today. I'm really excited to at least be enjoying some things via audio lineup, your audio books, your podcast, your music, your, your whatever, your TV shows, and just listen to them. Don't watch them. You're not supposed to watch or read anything tonight, so I won't be doing that. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to open my eyes and I'm excited because it could still be a little bit blurry, but... I also might be able to see. So let's enjoy the evening. Let's chill. Let's go to bed. Keep these shields on when you go to bed. Definitely you want to take the sunglasses off, but I'll keep the shields on when I go to bed. And we'll see tomorrow morning uh, how my eyes are looking and feeling. And I'll tell you how sleeping goes. Thanks. <sighs> it is the first day of my brand new eyes. Got this set up going. Shout out to SIRI. Not going to say his name because if I say his name, He'll activate but I just spent the first night sleeping as I promised um, to be honest sleeping was pretty easy to do I decided to take one melatonin to just help me like totally knock out and relax I may have woken up at one point during the evening but it wasn't too bad at all I didn't have like crazy symptoms just general like you know wake up in the middle of the night discomfort but um, went right back to sleep i had a super active dream <laughs> it involved my boyfriend's um soccer teams athletics and even some elements from high school so not sure why i had that dream uh the time is now about 6 45 a.m i wanted to wake up at this time to see my new eyes to try my new eyes because i'm also going to have medicines that i need to start taking so I've got obviously my eye shields on and I'm going to start reading immediately. It contains post-op care instructions. I think three packets of penicillin. Artificial tears. Tape for my face shield. It should also have some antibiotic eye drops. I've already been taking those, so it's probably lost in this bag somewhere. 
I'm gonna try just removing the tape, opening my eyes. I was warned they might be crusty, okay? Ow, oh, that tape. Gotta be careful not to squeeze my eyes or rub my eyes in any way. Okay, let's start with the tape from the top. I've had a really interesting experience um, with my eyes completely closed for 12 hours. It was, it was good actually. It tells me I know my space very well. one in the center. This is exciting. Okay. Careful not to squeeze. I think it's mostly off. I put this one right on my eye. I would not do that. Okay. Okay. I'm not even sure if all the tape is off my face, but it feels like it. <sighs> I have no idea what my vision is going to be like. I've worn glasses since I was in the third grade, since I was like eight years old, y'all. And I can't carefully put my eye shields away. Take a second to pray. Um, I pray that my eyes have healed the way that they're supposed to after the surgery. I pray that those lasers, <laughs> those wavefront lasers were correct. I pray that Avanova had a way, you know what I'm saying, of working its way through my lids. Every surgeon was on it. Every technician was on it. I pray that everything is in just the right place. And, um, pray that I have healthy eyes today. Amen. Okay, I'm gonna start by opening them up. Super sticky. Oh, I can barely get them open. It's because of the eye drops. <laughs> okay, I tried to open them right now, but it's very sticky. Oh my god, the left one is almost completely stick shut. The right one is starting to open. I can just barely see. Okay, I'm trying not to strain my eyes too much. So on the right one, I can see that it's sticky and it's just barely opening. Um, I wanna be very careful. I can barely get that one open. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see, but the right one's partially open. The vision looks very kind of, you know, hazy and whatnot. I'm going to try to put sanitizer on and clean my hands. Clean my hands so that I can very carefully not to rub my eyes for any reason. Right now, I don't know if you can see, but I feel like the eyelashes are probably just stuck together. Oh my god. Okay, y'all, so the eyelashes are really stuck shut here. Being super careful. Alright, I have my right eye open. Oh my god. Okay, so I've barely got my left eye open, but I promise you this is already looking clearer than I normally have. That's awesome. I can read the words on my humidifier. I can read Kirkland. <laughs> I can read at t Dream in Black pretty clearly. Was not able to read that before. Okay, let's see if I can get... Oh my god. Oh, it definitely did something, y'all. I'm... I'm reading Avino Daily Moisturizer. <laughs> I'm reading all these brands. I can read my own name. Yeah, it did something. That vision is certainly improved. I'm trying to keep it so careful. My right eye is open. I'm really happy. <laughs> I know it's not showing, but I'm just trying to be so careful. I know it's already working. Okay. I think I've picked enough that my right eye should, should naturally open. I'm not rubbing it for any reason. Just carefully, carefully opening. 
It's just a lot of crust, I think. Oh, I can see you, hi camera. <laughs> I can see my own face. <laughs> Let's try my left eye. So I promise you I'm trying to open it, but I can't. Y'all, I can never see my face as clear. I can never read you like the numbers on the phone. Let's try the left eye. Oh my God. Okay, starting to open. It's looking a little hazy just because of the, uh, the crust. That crust is real, it is. The eye drops, I'm not in any pain at all. I'm not in any pain whatsoever, but the eye drops have just melted everything shut. I'm gonna drop this, maybe it'll be easier. Okay, left eye's partially open. I'm just taking a few moments to blink with both eyes. Oh, jeez. I'm just saying different brands and details around my room. Can see my posters. I can read my degree, <laughs> my master's degree. Uh, I see the little characters in the corner on my shelf. I can see the spindles of my plant. A picture of baby me <laughs> when I uh, when I graduated from preschool. At her. Things that are, I don't know how long my um, wingspan is. If this is one foot, that's two. So things that are like three, four feet in front of me, I can actually read. And that has never been the case since I was eight years old. <clears throat> my boyfriend gave me this love letter on Valentine's Day. I'm just like moving it further and further away to make sure I can still read it. <laughs> this is exciting. Hey, my love, happy Valentine's Day. I'm so happy to call you mine. Happy me. God is good. Bye. I just had my first experience outside. It's crazy. I can't see license plates in the distance. I can see every little detail in my car that I could never see before with glasses. And now we're headed in for my first checkup. This part is actually nuts. Um, so I'm driving, I can see the left turn yields, I can see the do not enters the wrong ways, the push the button for walk sign, things that I could never, the speed limit, y'all, no U-turn signs, everything. Like things that I could never ever before see. I can see people, pedestrians, like the faces of pedestrians as they wait, the accessories of the pedestrians. It's nuts. I could never ever even attempt to see this without my uh, prescription glasses before. Concrete. <laughs> I can read the tiny little words on the truck as they drive by. So honestly, my vision feels perfect. I don't know if this is perfect. I'm going to find out today at the doctor, but I could not imagine anything more like crystal clear than what I'm seeing right now. And when I take my sunglasses off, it's definitely really bright. I'm trying not to have a super bright day just to take care of my eyes, but it's still, it's incredibly cute. I can see you. I can see the time on the phone. Like that's just, that's buck wild. That is something that I have not had access to. Um, and I'm really, really excited about it. All right, let's make this slick little turn. Look at that. Boom. Oh yes. I can see into my rear view mirrors perfectly. I can see the dirt on my mirrors, which means I need a little wash. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I can see everything 
around me as I'm driving, the trees, the little details, the bushes. We're driving safely, obviously, hands-free, two hands here. Um, you know, the no stopping any time signs, the little bikes, bike lane signs, potholes in the ground. Oh my God, if, so, if somebody spit their gum out on the road, I could probably see that too. I see a biker, I can tell the color of their bike. I'm, I'm even starting to think this is better than what I saw with glasses. I can read tiny little words on people's license plate. Oh yeah, yeah, this is that stuff. Currently, I have no regrets. Um, this morning, I've been doing my eye drop regimen. It's just a little complex since there's so many different kinds of drops. So I've been using my voice assistant. Um, I don't like to say her name because then she activates, but I've been using my voice assistant to go, okay, remind me at 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12, 12, 30. Like pretty much every hour on the hour, or on the half hour, I'm taking a different eye drop or antibiotic. Um, eyes right now feeling pretty good. Now that we're at about like 9, 11 a.m. on the morning after the surgery, I do feel a little bit of like, I don't know if you can call it dryness, kind of like that dry scratchy feeling on my right eye like underneath the lid so that is to be expected I hope I don't have dry eye but when you put all this you know material and drops into your eye like of course it's going to start to feel dry after some time so we'll see what the doctor has to say but just wanted to give you that update that I, I can see the leaves on the bushes on the trees baby I can see everything and I'm really really happy about it get a look Let's get a good look at my stats after LASIK. We are seeing today I'm at the optometrist to get a checkup. I can look at stuff, our contacts, our glasses. I can read posters on the wall, which is really cool. I can see recycling information. <laughs> I'm gonna get my eyes checked again the day after the surgery. Zonules, cornea, iris, pupil, lens, ciliary body, conjunctiva. Your girl's reading. This is reading rainbow. I'm so excited for you. I see E V O T Z two. Awesome job. And then uh, I'll cover this eye. Small sign you can read. E. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you got it. E V O T Z two. Yeah. E V O T Z two. 2020, yeah. let me show you something. 2020? How do you know it's 2020? Yeah, that's the, that's the 2020 uh, line. So you can see a, you can see a size 20 letter 20 feet away. And can you try the bottom? Let me give you another line. H-X-F-Z-H-G. Awesome. Watch, check this out. That's 2015 if you can see that. That's better than 2020. The lowest one? Yes. I can see O. H P N T Z. Congratulations. Let's go. <laughs> 2015. What? So why? Why would the numbers? Why was the lower number better? Is there like a 10 10 that's like excellent? There's no. 20. Yeah, the 2020 is like normal vision. Uh, that's the vision you need to drive. You know, legally to yeah. to see. Um, that's amazing. I mean, the standards are a little bit lower uh, for DMV, but. Normally, someone should see 2020, but you see that. 2015. Is, that's like a pilot's vision. Is it going to stay like this? Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> as long as you stay on the drops. Yeah. So just make sure you stay on the drops. Um, you should be using uh, artificial tears every hour. I am. There's yeah. prednisone and there's antibiotics. They so got me. Just follow the instructions there. Quadruple drugged up. When I woke <laughs> up, I was I was literally like, I, I was like, this is a joke. This is a joke. Like, I was looking around, I was reading like little bottles in my room. We'll go this is the dry eye test? Yes, so this is gonna see, go ahead and look all the way up, please. Oh, that one's see, dry up. Yeah, this is gonna see, um, once we do the laser, oh. we wanna see um, the cornea, see the health of the cornea, make sure that there's no inflammation. There's gonna be a little bit of inflammation, but make sure there's no infection. It's good, and so today I can like read, I can use the computer. Yeah, exactly. I can use my mobile, I can watch TV, just like as take it easy. As take it easy. Yeah. And Limited physical activity. Don't get sweat in your eyes. No, no, Turn no. your back to the shower. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah, shield this week. The shield. Yes. Yeah. We're wearing. When you're sleeping. Yep. We're wearing glasses all week. Beautiful. Amazing. Okay. Well then. To grade my eyes. How how are we doing today? Fantastic. Ten out of ten. Uh, Twenty fifteen vision uh, after the first day. Okay. Any <laughs> tips for anybody considering LASIK? Um. Unofficial any, tips. Any tips? Uh, make sure you get your eye exam first by your optometrist to get evaluated. And then from there, uh, make sure you work with a, a reputable surgeon and your optometrist will take care of all of that. And practice perfect care like me. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Perfect. And just because I wanted to give you a little advanced preview, everyone, 
This is LASIK day three, uh, or night three, sleeping with my eyelid masks on. So, um, <laughs> yeah, you gotta sleep with these every night for about 10 days following your surgery. I've woken up now on night two, the right one fell off. On night one, the left one fell off. So make sure that you are using an adequate amount of tape. For the first time tonight, I'm trying this method of applying actual like muscle tape instead of just the, you know, light sort of translucent skin tape that they provided me. <laughs> it's a bit of a struggle, but I would honestly say that this in keeping up with the hourly eye drops you know, experiencing slight dryness or slight burn, that's the worst part. There's nothing else to be afraid of. This this vision is crazy. I can see things that I've literally never seen before. Tiny little details. If I'm standing up straight and I'm like almost 5'9", I can see ants crawling on the ground. It is that detailed. I can read street signs. My vision has been beautiful, wonderful. It's so oddly clear. It's definitely better than when I had glasses. And I can read things from far away. It's just like, it's insane. I'm seeing details in skin, um, in hair, in the people around me, on TV that I never saw before. And it makes my work easier too. I'm able to just look at presentations and decks and files and creative and find exactly what I need within a video, or within a photo. So um, I just wanted to encourage anybody that is even... Mm. Oh, girl, I wasn't talking to you. She always be doing that. My automated assistant. Um, I just want to encourage anybody that is still thinking about this surgery or feeling nervous, even after watching the video, you can do this. You can get through this three days later, still looking good, still feeling good. Uh, and I hope that this stays. So yeah, cheers, everybody. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can hit me up. And if you don't want to comment publicly, you can ask me privately on um instagram or twitter or any of the inboxes that i have okay good luck everybody good night